understanding pixels. So here I have an image search for cats. And if I page around to any of these cats, um, like let's say this one that's trapped in marshmallows, and I save this image from the internet, label that cat1. And if I'm in GIMP and I open it up as cat1, cat1 is labeled 400 by 300. This is the resolution of it. Now that's a resolution based upon pixels. And if I zoom in using control and wheel mouse, you can see that there's pixels. And how many pixels per inch dictate how detailed this cat's going to be. In this case, I don't have any hair detail whatsoever. And this is a very low res image. It's great for the internet. It looks good as an icon maybe. But in print, this would be horrible. And oftentimes students try to make posters out of this stuff and I laugh. And I, you know, I kind of entertain it for a minute and then they realize it looks like junk and then all of a sudden they're like, wow, I realize how bad uh, things are as far as pixels. Now here, you know, something a little bit more detailed. I can get a little bit closer. And if you look, here is the pixels of 400 by 300. This one is 1600 by 1200. And in Google, we do have the option to search for better things. Like if you go to search tools, and if you go to size, larger than, and some of the standard cameras right now are 12 megapixels. You know, like that's pretty common now, 12 megapixels. Doesn't mean that every one of these images are 12 megapixels. We still have to know about the numbers in the corner. Okay, let's take this one for example. If I view image, this is going to come in really big. Or it's going to go to somebody's website where it's very small. Nice. So let's go back. Click on it once. And let's right click and save image as. By saving image as, you are able to save the high res. And let's open that one up in GIMP. Thirty-eight hundred by thirty-eight forty by fifty-two thirteen. And let's zoom in. And you can see how much detail you can really have. How many pixels there are per per inch. So pay close attention to those numbers at the very top. They mean detail. Now, there are times, however, that you don't want too much detail starting out. There are times when you need to vector an image, and if there is too much detail, it vectors badly. So the numbers then get in your way. When you're making posters, it's very important to have a, a large number. So when you first make a document, new document, and let's say you made a U.S. letter, 8.5 by 11. Notice the numbers here. Under the advanced options, you have resolution. So the numbers right here, 300 ppi, pixels per inch, um, if you need that to be bigger, you know, I wouldn't go higher, too much higher, but... There is a limit to the amount of pixels we see on paper. So to go too high is not recommended. I mean, you'll never get that much detail. But if your images are staying on the screen, you can get as detailed as you want nowadays. Before we had to limit these to match people's download speed. Now we don't have that anymore. Alright, so that is pixels per inch and DPI dots per inch 
We'll see the dots per inch more when we start printing, but for right now, just know that there is a quality here and what the difference is. Let's go on to the next video.